For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the internal normal force, shear force, and moments at both point C and point D. So the first thing that we need to recognize is that we have two distributed loads over here. We have a rectangular distributed load and a triangular distributed load. The triangular distributed load produces a force F2, which acts one third from the long edge. And the rectangular distributed load acts right at the middle of the rectangle. We're going to call it F1. Then this 690 uh, pound force, I'm going to divide it into an horizontal component and a vertical component. So let's find these forces first. F1, which is the rectangular force, is the area of the rectangle which has a length of 15 feet and a height of 40. So it's 15 times 40 and is equal to 600 pounds. F2 is the area of the triangle, this is the equivalent force of the triangular distributed load. And remember, it's from 40 to 60, which means that from here to here, there is 20 pounds per foot, which means that this is 20 times the length, which is 15 still, divided by 2 because it's a triangle, it's not a rectangle. So this is 150 pounds. Now let's call this F3x and let's call this one F3y. So F3x is equal to 690 times 5 according to the triangle divided by 13 and it is equal to 265.4 pounds. And F3y is equal to 690 times 12 divided by 13 and it is equal to 636.9 pounds then you got to see that right here at point B you have a reaction that can only be vertical let's call that one BY and we're gonna find BY find BY to do so we're gonna do the sum of the moments at A assuming clockwise is positive is equal to zero so the moment created by F2 times 5, why 5? Because F2 acts one third from the length of the triangle, one third of the length of the triangle, which is 15, is 5, plus F1 times 7.5, because it acts right in the middle of the rectangle of length 15, so it's 7.5, minus BY times 15, because B is a 15 plus F3y times 25 is equal to zero. And you know that F3x doesn't create a moment because it aims directly at A. So you have F2, you have F1, and you have F3y. All you're missing is By, so you solve for By, and you get that By is equal to 1411.5 pounds. So now we have all these values that we're gonna need. We got F3y, F3x, F2 and F1. So let me turn the page. Now, we're going to use the method of sections about C. So we're going to cut it right here and we're going to go to the right. Why to the right? Because we got all the forces to the right of C. And remember, A has a pin, so A can have both a vertical and a horizontal reaction. So it gets more complicated, so it's better to go to the right, since we already figured out all these forces. So we're going to use the method of sections, but there's a little problem. In this section to the right, you still have the two distributed loads. Let me draw them. So this is C, but as you can see, you still have a bit of a rectangular distributed load and a bit of the triangular distributed load and you know that right here at the bottom is 40 pounds per foot 
and you know that from here to here there's three feet so what we need to find is we need to find the height of this new distributed load because we cut it right in the middle in order for us to be able to do our normal calculations to do so we're going to look at this triangle right here I'm going to redraw this triangle this triangle right here is this little triangle right here has an angle theta which is the same theta right here it's the same angle because they both come from the both triangles come from the same angle so you need to find the theta on this big angle first and then you apply it to this little angle because it's the same theta to find the theta on this big angle this is easy because you know that from here to here is 20 and you know this length to be 15 so theta is equal to 20 um, I'm sorry ta tangent inverse of 20 over 15 which is equal to 53.13 degrees now that we got this angle theta we can find in this tiny triangle we can find this height from here to here and you know that from here to here is 40 pounds per foot but from here to here to find it on this new little tiny triangle which also has an angle theta you know that this length right here is 3 feet because that's the length from here to here so this is 3 feet and you know the angle to be 53.13 so you can easily find the other angle by doing 3 tangent of 53 point this is tangent of 53.13 is equal to this height right here let's call it h so h is equal to 4 so from here to here there is 4 pounds per foot now that we have that uh, height we can uh, redraw this method of section this section right here this is point C let's say this is the normal as C this is the share this is the moment now remember we have this, these two distributed loads these two distributed loads have an equivalent force of let's call this one F4 F4 and this one right in, acting right in the middle of this rectangular one let's call this one F3 so we did the same thing that we did for this one remember for this one we have a force acting for this triangular force which is acting at one third and one acting right in the middle which is acting right in the middle which is one half of the length of the rectangle this is the same thing this one's acting one third and the rectangular one is acting right in the middle so if you have to calculate the distances remember the whole length of this two is three feet so one third of three feet is one foot and one half of three feet is 1.5 foot <clears throat> so the equivalent force which is f4 of the triangular force acts one third which is one foot from c and f3 which is the equivalent force of the rectangular force acts one half from three which is 1.5 then you have b y sorry that's supposed to be vertical then you have by which is exactly at 3 feet because remember we're from here on so by is 3 feet from c then we have the forces we found before which are f3y and f3x so these are all the forces on our method of sections but we don't know F3 or F4. We have all the other forces, so let's find them. F4 is equal to the area of the triangle. Remember, I gave you the height. That's why we went through all this triangle complication. Now, F3 is equal to the area of the triangle, which is equal to 4 times 3 over 2, because that's the um, length of the 
of the triangle, the length of the triangle is 3, the height is 4, and you gotta divide by 2 to find the area of the triangle. 4 times 3 over 2, and it is equal to 6 pounds. And F3 is the area of the rectangle, a bit easier, which is 3 times 40, which is equal to 120 pounds. Now that we have uh, all the forces, we have F4, we have F3, F3y and F3x, I did them on the page before, we have By, so we can easily find MC, um, NC and BC, which are the shear, the normal and the moment. So some of the forces in the x is equal to zero, which means that the normal minus F3y is equal to zero, which means that the normal is equal to F3y, which comes out to be 265.4 pounds. Some of the forces in the y is equal to zero, which means that the share going down minus F4 minus F3 plus By minus F3Y. The sum of all this is equal to zero. You have F4, you have F3, you have By, you have F minus, I mean you have F3Y, so you solve for the share. And you get that your share is equal to 648.6 pounds. So we got the share, we got the normal, this is 4.C, remember, we haven't done point D yet. And last but not least, sum of the moments at C is equal to 0. So let's assume going clockwise is positive, then you got the moment C plus F4 times 1, because F4 acts at 1 foot from C, 1 third of the triangle, plus F3 times 1.5, minus BY times 3, I'm running out of space, I'm going to keep going this line right here, plus F3Y times 13, and it's equal to 0. These are the distances. So F4 is at 1 foot, this is at 1.5 feet, this is at 3 feet, and this is at 13 feet. This is all one line, okay? So you, you have everything except MC, so you just solve for MC and you get that MC is equal to negative 4231.2 foot pounds. And as you can see it's negative, we assume clockwise was positive, so MC is equal to 4231.2 foot pounds going counterclockwise. And that's it for the normal, the share and the moment at C. Now I'm going to turn the page and find that use the same method of sections to do the very very easy guys. This is a section, this is D, this is the normal at D, this is the share at D, and this is the moment at D. And remember you have F3Y and F3X here. So some of the forces on the X is equal to zero. That gives you the normal force because the normal minus F3X is equal to zero. So the normal, sorry, this is at D. So the normal at D is equal to 265.4 pounds. Some of the forces on the Y is equal to zero. So the share minus F3Y is equal to zero. So the share is equal to 636.9 pounds. And last but not least, some of the moments at D. Again, I keep writing C, I'm sorry. This is point D. Some of the moments at D is equal to zero. Assuming counterclockwise is positive. Then you get that MD minus F3Y times 5 because it's 5 feet from D is equal to 0. So the moment at D is equal to 3184.5 pounds per foot going counterclockwise.
So final answer for the moment at D, final answer for the share, final answer for the normal at D. The only complicated part about this was when we were at point C, and point C is cut right here, and then we have to figure out this tiny triangle right here. Just remember, this triangle has the same angle as this bigger triangle. That's the trick to this exercise, okay? So final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.